let me start recording okay so the last class we have been talking about visual forces visual force pages we have been talking about visual force pages and in visual force pages so far what we have covered is what is visual force page what is visual force why visual force and also we understood the mvc model model view controller and we have understood how to create a visual force pages in salesforce and how to start the visual force page coding right we have seen we all know that how to do the how to start the visual force page coding and coming to the commands so far we know that what are the commands we know so far apex page apex page block apex page block session and apex page block section item and also we understood the standard controller how to use the standard controller on the apex page we used it standard controller for account and opportunity we saw an example right then we have understood apex output field and we we have seen the example with apex column output text and also we have seen example for apex output label and we have seen example with apex colon related list and we have seen apex page block table and also we learned apex colon column apex colon detail and we have seen the apex colon form right so why we use that whenever we wanted to accept the user input so we have also seen the user input field and we have seen the apex colon input text and we have seen apex colon command button and also we have seen apex colon command link right and we have seen the apex colon input secret apex colon input secret and we have seen apex colon input hidden and we have seen example with apex colon select radio and we have seen example with the select options as well as we know that apex colon check boxes
And along with this, we have also seen the Apex Call and Select list. And we have seen an example with the image and iframe. And also we know what is static resource. How to use the static resource in Visual Force page. We have seen that and Apex colon tab panel. And we have seen Apex colon tab. And also we have seen the styles in line style. internal style, internal CSS, external CSS, and we have seen how to use the custom style, how to declare the custom style. And finally, we have seen what are the places we can use visual force pages. Right, almost half of the commands we covered it. Okay, so these all we covered uh, in last couple of sessions. We have been talking about all of this. Note down what are the interview questions can come up from this. If anybody wants to note down, note down. Interview questions from this is what is visual force in Salesforce. And second one, how to display related list record in visual force page. How to, how to display related list records in visual force pages. And the next one, explain the concept of the MVC paradigm in visual force page. Explain the MVC model in visual force page. And next, how will you define the standard controller? How will you define the standard controllers in Visual Force page? And the next one, define different ways of different ways how visual force pages are created in salesforce these all are uh, interview questions any one can come up it's not mandatory all of them can they last it's based on the company based on the project they might ask these questions and what is the meaning of tag? What is the meaning of the tag in visual force? How can you, next one, how can you create a visual force page in Salesforce? In Salesforce. And next one is, what are static resources in in Salesforce? What are static resources in Salesforce? Next one, where can be a visual force page? 
where can visual force page be used? What are the places we can use the visual force pages? Next, how to comment on the visual force page? How to comment on the visual force page? Next one, explain expression. Explain the expressions and data binding. What are the global variables or universal variables or universal tables that can be used without declaration of standard controller? What are the global variables? Explain visual force namespace. How to enable visual force development mode. How to enable visual force development mode. Okay, so these are the questions can be fired. Okay, but it is good to know the answers for all of this. Okay, is it clear? So these are the questions that can come up from whatever we have discussed from 38 commands or what are the comments, half of the comments we have discussed, right? It may come up from this.